Morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Clifford Stone. I was Sergeant First Class, United States Army. I had a secret clearance with Nuclear Assurity. I could get the clearance that I needed to do whatever it was that was necessary for me to do at the time on special operations when I was called in on those. What I'm referring to here is that I was involved in situations where we actually did recoveries of crashed saucers, for lack of a better term, and debris thereof. There were bodies that were involved with some of these crashes, also some were alive. While we were doing all this, we were telling the American public there was nothing to it. We were telling the world there was nothing to it. I've been involved where we have recovered these objects. We know them to be of extraterrestrials. In 1969, I had an event that happened to me while I was stationed at Fort Lee, Virginia. We went to Indian Town Gap, Pennsylvania. That would be my first exposure to any time that we would be recovering an unidentified flying object. When we went there, we already had people that was already in the, in the facility. We were a backup team, which was supposed to be NBC because there was supposed to be some nuclear materials that was on board this craft. Later on, most people involved would have been, were, were to be told that there was nothing on board. It was nothing more than just a crash of one of our aircraft. I know better because I was one of the people that approached it with a Geiger counter to get surface readings. I was the first person to go ahead and see that there were bodies on it. That would be the first of approximately 12 events. UFO crashes are not events that take place every day. They're rare. I know we're not alone in the universe. I know that the absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. It's evidence that has been denied to the American people. We can prove through the testimony and documents that we will be presenting that this subject has been hidden from members of Congress and at least two administrations that we are aware of, presidential administrations, and that the Constitution of the United States has been subverted by the growing power of these classified projects and that this is a danger to the national security. There is no evidence, I wish to emphasize, that these life forms from elsewhere are hostile towards us. But there is a great deal of evidence that they are concerned with our hostility. I was assigned to the 28th Air Division at Great Falls, Montana, and I was the officer in charge of the communications center there. Also, I was a top secret control officer for the division. I uh, had a crypto account, I was an account custodian, and I also passed out nuclear launch authenticators. During that time, I can recall seeing a message come through that communications center which said, basically what Bob was just got through talking about, is that a UFO was seen near the missile silos and the missiles were deactivated. It was at night, it was dark, about 300 miles outside of Argentia I saw a glow on the water, like approaching a city at night. As we approached this glow it turned to a monstrous circle of white lights on the water. We watched this for a while, the lights went out, there was nothing on the water. Next thing we saw was a yellow halo, small, much smaller than whatever it was launched from. And that was 15 miles away, up to our altitude. Because of the trajectory, I disengaged the autopod, shoved the nose over to try to go under this thing.
So I think my, my question is actually to my question is to Clifford Stone. You, you said that you had seen aliens on a on a craft that had crashed. I wondered if you could describe what they looked like. I could. I could, but it would probably take a whole lot of time. The reason I state that, when I got out in 1989, we had cataloged 57 different species.